look safe. Put another torch down here to be sure. Oh, this is what I was afraid of. Not the zombie that guy I can take. It's the metric shit ton of cave down below. You know what? I'm gonna give this guy a bad day. Ho! Oh! Yeah, it sucks to be him. Now, this dirt here is just a natural inclusion does not mean we're anywhere close to the surface. We're actually not. Got a glimpse of the sunrise through an unloaded chunk. Oh my. Sometimes this happens though. When you dig through a dirt inclusion. You end up in another cave. Ooh. Bollocks. There is a lot of ca uh oh. No, I got a better idea. Boom. <laughs> it's a one hit KO. Yeah, that thing hurts. Be my creeper be gone. Whoa, speaking of creeper be gone, be gone! Oh, that was the knockback. It's not fatal. This is, though. Heard a skeleton. Kills me to do this, but I think I'm gonna. Well, let's just put this over here. And then run up and grab this one. Whoa, what? Fuck. I hear an Enderman. I didn't bring any pumpkins. Endermen normally flip out if you stare at them, but if you're wearing a pumpkin, they can't tell that you're staring at them. I do not have a pumpkin on me. So, this is about to get interesting. I'm not necessarily sure I want it to get interesting, but I don't have a choice in the matter. I will find you and I will end you. Whoa, that was close. Is it on the other side of this wall? Jesus, that's loud. See him. Let's see if he's up. It's up to you too, mister. Where are 
you close. There he is! Whoa! No! No! You're not getting away from me! No Ender Pearl, but I killed him! That's the important part. Shit, man. Those guys. Now, where the hell did I come out from? So, nobody knows what the hell's down here. Let's go investigate. Whoa! Crap, crap, crap. Got a little lake down here. I hear another Enderman! He's close! And he teleported. And it sounded... Hmm, dead end. It sounded like he landed in the water and teleported out. Because again, Endermen don't like water. Oh, he definitely just landed in the water. <laughs> Hideous sound. Where's this? There he is! Whoa, what? Did I aggro him? No, I can't have aggroed him. Well, let's aggro him now. I don't think he saw me. Hey! Hey, dipshit! Come at me, bro! He's not doing it. Oh! Hi. He doesn't... Oh, now he wants a piece! I'm gonna heal now. That's a really unpleasant noise, and I don't like it. Oops! Well... That's obsidian, and I don't see him anymore. That doesn't mean a whole lot. Well, I found another branch. This is where Dingus McSnarl face ran off to after I punked him. Okay, this place is getting a little bit loopy. Gosh. Any freaking. That's the one that leads down to the ravine. 
I should finish lighting at least this part. But I'm not going down there. No siree. I might go over here, though. Oh, hello. Oh, goodbye there. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? I know there's a skeleton wandering around here. I just saw him. There he is. He ran away. He gets to live for now. No. Yeah, how much... Jeez, look at the whole floor of this place. It's flooded with lava. I'm not going down there. No way. No, I'm not going down there and you can't make me. Where's that fucking skeleton? I'm gonna give him a bad day. leads back into the ravine! I'm out of torches, so... Let's just burrow through here some more. There's a ton of dirt in the wall here. There's all dingus. He'll burn to death. He did. He dropped stuff. Oh, let me just use this iron axe because you need an iron axe in order to harvest gold. 
And thar be gold in them thar hills. I'll be back here for the rest of this junk later, but uh want me some gold. For reasons. So this appears to also lead back into the ravine. Which I'm not too happy about. I was coming back here later. Doing a bad job of coming back here later. Continue to repeat futilely. Let's get the hell out of here. In my bucket. Since I don't have lava anymore. Yeah, this ravine here seems to be happening. It seems to be very insistent on happening. There's gonna be dudes out in the desert, but I don't see anybody right now. Let's get out of here before that changes. Ah, uh, never mind. I can mess up some spoders. Whoa, that's a friggin' creeper brigade! There's like three of them assholes over there. No, we're using the super bow on them. I missed. I missed again. There. I got them all. He wasn't done. Ugh. Get over here! His face is dead. That's a creeper.
And that's an Enderman. He's about to have a bad day. Got him. I don't care about you. Get it. Done for the night. <sighs> all right, let's sort out all this junk. I need to build another chest now. Now that I'm starting to accumulate more minerals. I'm gonna bring the iron out, right? Oh, that is all the iron. Well, I'm about to make something pretty awesome. And it'll allow me to use those there that enchanted book I pulled out. If I do it right. Send me that enchanted book. So I take this off. I throw the book and the boots on. And we are going to call these... Look at that glowing swag! So that's the main feature of the anvil. It allows you to repair items. First of all, it allows you to repair items with the most items. The notable exceptions that I could think of off the top of my head are bows and fishing rods. You can repair other kinds of tools with a single piece of the material used to create them. For example, iron tools get an iron ingot, and this works for armor as well. Um, something made out of stone, slap a stone on it. You might have seen me a couple times combine like tools together to repair the durability on them. The problem is that when you do this with an enchanted tool, it'll strip all the enchantments. Anvils don't do this. In fact, if I were to take these two bows and glue them together, I'd have one super bow with all three enchantments on it, and I will make sure to do that when they get low. Um, and we're gonna, actually, for that reason, we're gonna leave these here because I'm about to go get the other major workstation, or one of the two other major workstations that I'm currently missing. And it requires me to dig deep. So I'm gonna shore up my supplies a bit, finish cooking the iron, do something about my voice, and I will see you guys back here in a little bit.